Over 40,000 workers have protested job cuts and frozen wages in a nationwide day of strikes. Unions say the COVID-19 pandemic shouldn't serve as an excuse to erode workers' rights. French companies have announced thousands of job cuts, citing the economic toll of the coronavirus. That includes, for example, the tyre company Bridgestone, which has announced the closure of its factory in northern France. And that puts over 800 jobs at risk. Our reporter, Guillaume Desjardins, is in Paris, and he says even though some French companies has really benefited from extra government COVID funding, they've still laid off many employees. The government announced billions in tax breaks for businesses, and workers uh, think that it lacks warranties for jobs. The goal for the government is indeed to save companies uh, whatever it costs in an attempt to keep jobs and salaries in France. But unions, uh, based on previous uh, precedents back in the Hollande era with like similar tax break, with similar goals, uh, and we saw that some companies back then took in the public fundings and still ended up laying people. And that is precisely what workers fear this time with this massive stimulus package. And the example set by Bridgestone yesterday could not have come at a worst moment because it illustrates precisely what unions are saying that uh, Bridgestone announced close to uh, 900 layoffs after taking some uh, public fundings. The government yesterday through um, the economy minister Bruno Le Maire said it was a revolting announcement claiming that the government and the French taxpayers had some kind of moral agreement with those companies, but it didn't keep Bridgestone from laying off uh, these people. And now unions are calling for better warranties that this won't happen again with this uh, very stimulus package. Yesterday in particular, we saw doctors, nurses, lab workers as well out protesting. How has the COVID-19 pandemic really changed the call for industrial action in France? We did see indeed uh, yesterday a lot of health workers in the street. Uh, actually, the health workers, the, the public nurses, were the only ones to um, hold a significant strike over the last eight months. You could, due to COVID measures, uh, the social agenda was quite empty, but they uh, went on strike uh, in June. And this time they were joined by private lab workers and they all claim the same thing. They are understaffed, underworked. And the lab example is quite a good one right now with the, um, uh, the COVID testing policy. There is a surge of work for these lab workers and they say that they can't keep up with the rhythm. Uh, right now in France, some people um, have had to wait for a week to get an appointment to get tested and then wait for another week to get the results, which is kind of defeating the very purpose of this policy. Russian activist Alexei